what's up guys i'm sorry about not responding to everybody's comment on my past tiktok i honestly didn't think it'd go that viral uh but i appreciate all the likes and comments i'm sorry i didn't obviously answer all of them but this is why i made a youtube video so it would be so i could tell you guys and answer all your questions and it didn't have to be in multiple parts on tiktok so the most commented thing on my tiktok was how much i make i decided i didn't want to give that information out due to other ball boys and ball girls in case they didn't want that information to get out so i'm not gonna tell you the exact number but i'll tell you some things that may help you guess so the job is part-time it's not full-time and also you only work the home games so in a normal season not the COVID season we just had the last season there's usually 82 games so 41 home games and with that you can say so there's some factors in that with you know money obviously you're not working 82 games compared to 41 and also it's part-time so it's not a full-time position i'm not working 40 hours a week and another top comment that i saw on my tiktok was what do i do so i'll take you step by step once i got there with my years once i got to the pacers i started as a nba court cleaner as the tiktok said we just call it mop you're a mop today so uh when i first got there i did mop and obviously when a player falls you just get up mop the spot and then sit back down and you also mop after uh, free throws and with that being with that there's also um a water boy and water girl so obviously if the player coach wants some water or gatorade then you give it to them and also for timeouts you pass it out to the players the last position is uh the runner so you can you see that the person when okay so when a player runs up to the scores table there's a person behind them well that's me in the first half on the away side i'm on the visitor side during the pacer games i'm there i'm not usually on the home side very rarely i'm on the uh, home side so i'm on the away side so if you're watching pacer game in the future uh and you see a player uh, running up that's on the visitor side i will be right behind him collecting his shirt and i'm not doing it in the second half me and a, another ball boy switch because there's other stuff to do rather than just running up to get the player shirt in the in the back this is what i do on a game day so usually pacer games start at 7 p.m eastern time so i get there around 3 30 depending on the bus time the players um, some players and some coaches and even uh, staff get on buses early and come to the f field house early. So it depends on the bus times, but say I'm supposed to get there at 4 p.m. And so before 4 or right when I get to Banker's Life, I put my stuff up and I go set up the away locker room. I put in I put bath towels, washcloths, um, Gatorade towels. And we put uh, we fill up the fridge as well. After that's all done, we go get the um, we get the bags underneath the bus. So we have a golf cart, and we put all the bags that the players, coaching staff, all have on this golf cart, and we take it to the visiting locker room. After we get all the buses, we sit in the locker room in case a player or coach needs anything. Sometimes they want food, um, coffee, literally anything. We will go get uh, for them, and then. We rebound before the game as well, so they like the little shoot around before tip off. And then during the game, obviously, I told you already, I'm the person that's behind, or I'm the person that goes and runs and get the uh, shooting shirt from the player. And I also hand out towels to uh, during timeouts or when the player comes out, and I give them their shirt back and a towel. <sighs> and then after the game, we also stay after to clean up. So different ball boys and ball girls are in a different position so there's three guys in the way locker room at all times after the game uh, what we do is we pick up bath towels that players are done with after showering and we pick up washcloths um, we make foot baths so we dump the foot baths 
and then there's coolers as well and then ice bags and again if anything if a coach or player needs anything we will have to go get it so we'll go get it for them before they leave the arena and head to the bus and then another comment on the tiktok was how i got the job so i got the job because of my brother-in-law my brother-in-law used to work with my boss now so they had the connection and then about eight years ago today it was actually in october of 2014 i i have it i had an interview with my boss and i heard it back a few days later and i got the job and it's been an awesome eight years i'm very thankful for the pacers organization to let me work for them it's been awesome with that being said hopefully i answered all your questions if you have any more questions i may do another second video depending on how many questions there are and i hope you guys have a great day all right also i decided i wanted to give you guys some proof that i work for the pacers so here are some photos before the video ends all right have a good day and stay positive